We're sickened by what we've seen because unfortunately it tends to give people the wrong impression. It causes people to have to some degree a knee-jerk reaction. North Carolina attorney Kieran Shanahan is talking about the worldwide outrage after a Minnesota dentist was named as Cecil's killer, luring the lion off protected land where hunting is not allowed. Shanahan has hunted in three African countries and killed both an elephant and a lion. He says all legally. But big game hunters themselves have become the targets since Cecil's corpse was discovered. Walter Palmer said he paid about $50,000 for a permit. And Zimbabwe officials are now investigating a second American, Dr. Jan Seski. But Shanahan says done properly, hunting offers benefits. The money from the permit helps conservation efforts and can bring much needed jobs to many African countries. A 2009 report by an international conservation group says hunters kill about 600 lions a year, and there are only about 25,000 African lions left. Jeff Flocken is with the International Fund for Animal Welfare. That's why any time an American or a foreigner goes to Africa to hunt a species that is known to be in decline, it's going to be a question not just of ethics, but is it sustainable and is it even being done legally? These uh, animals are magnificent and I can tell you that um, the, the uh, conservation hunters like myself re respect and appreciate these animals and we believe that the manner in which we ethically hunt them is one that um, I'm proud of. Neither doctor responded to our request for comment. U.S. Fish and Wildlife, which is investigating these incidents, is reviewing whether to add lions to their endangered species list. Anna Werner, CBS News, New York.